I wanted to, I was looking behind me because I've got a helper literally right behind me. I can't move at all. This fluffy butt is right behind me. Spade. The title of our reflection today is on the non-loving words of love that we use. And the perfect example is fluffy butt. It's funny. He is spade. He is a medium length hair kitty. And his body looks like a normal kitty. Normal short length hair. But he's got a very prodigious tail. That is. It looks like a regular short haired cat. Fluffed up. You know it's puff. So. He always looks like he's got a fluffy butt. Thus the nickname. I hope I lured you in with the title, with some intrigue, with the oxymoronic title, Non-Loving Loving Words. As some of you know, I love oxymorons. It's actually my license plate. So I call my little car, whom I love dearly, the Oxymoron Mobile. So in effect, my car itself has a non-loving, loving title. Throughout our lives, especially in this society, we use titles and words that are non-loving to be loving. Or we'll use a single word that imparts so much feeling and love. It has to stand the place for everything. In the scene in the garden, it is the morning after the Lord's murder and entombment. It is as each of the disciples, excuse me, the apostles, is coming to understand the phrase, rise from the dead. And they are all truly coming to believe that Jesus is the Christ in a new way, truly, newly believing in him as the Son of God. Mary of Magdala is searching frantically for the body of her slain Lord, but it's also her slain love, for she so loved Jesus, and he loved her, but their love was never acted upon. It was chaste and it was pure. But it doesn't change the fact that they did love each other. And all they ever did was exchange loving words. That didn't mean love and glances. When he sees her and she doesn't recognize him, he says one word to her, expressing his love. Mary! Not a quiet greeting, but a shout to her. Jesus rarely has an exclamation point in reference to his speaking. In all of the Gospels, 17 total exclamation points. And five were for yelling at demons to shut up and be gone. In all of his teachings and preachings, Christ is a very measured and calm fellow, so people would hear him and not be offended. Mary, having the blinders on and then having them ripped from her eyes so that she could now recognize her Lord and true love. Her love is apparent in the one word she spoke and that she chose. Not the traditional title of rabbi, but which is the formal title of teacher and master. No, Mary spoke the familiar, the title used with someone very well known to you, with whom you were very close. Rabone. 
There is so much love expressed in that one word. Mary! Robone! It is also the final goodbye for each. This is the last known private communication between them after the resurrection. They do not see each other again. They do not speak to each other privately again. This word, this one word, is their respective. I love you. I will miss you. Be in peace. We all care deeply for people, but may, may not love them fully due to life circumstances. You may not feel free to express or explore your feelings, or it may not be the custom of that person or that group or family to do so. Sort of how someone might say, I'm the hugging sort of person. And another might put on a virtual bloody virgin. That is what they are called. It's the Viking breastplate worn by the woman. And you see them in all those fake opera commercials with the blonde woman. And it's the breastplate with the spikes coming out in the... Yeah, you know. In our lives, the non-loving words of love may close each Facebook message, or you may, may end each call or text with them. They are always your words to your friends of love, but they don't say love, but they are your ways of saying love or speaking of love without ever saying the word. For in our society, though people are dying unexpectedly with great randomness right now, and you will never have the opportunity to say to any one of those people how you loved having them in your life, or how glad you were that they were on part of your life's journey with you. Instead, you say, be safe. And may the Lord fill your life with unexpected joys and challenges to enrich your life. Or may the peace of the Lord be with each of you always. And may peace be upon all who enter your household. Instead of, I love you, I will miss you, I wish we could be together more.